Have you ever seen a UPI payment stuck on processing and wondered where your money actually is? In this short, let's decode what really happens at the packet level when a UPI transaction gets stuck. A UPI transaction becomes stuck mainly when the NPCI switch does not receive a definitive response packet, called RESP pay, from the beneficiary bank within the timeout window, typically 30 to 45 seconds. In this case, the transaction is marked as pending with error codes like 91 or U19, and the system relies on reconciliation using UDR, Unified Dispute and Issue Resolution, or a status check loop called REQCHKTXN. In phase A, the transaction starts normally. The payer PSP sends a REQ pay packet to NPCI over HTTPS with TLS 1.2 or 1.3. Key tags include TXN ID, TXN type as pay or collect, payer address like user at UPI, amount, and device ID for security. In phase B, NPCI forwards REQ pay to the beneficiary bank. If the bank's core system is slow or down and does not send RESP pay back in time, NPCI generates its own RESP pay. This packet may carry result as failure or partial, air code 91 or U19, and status pending. The user's app then shows messages like payment processing or check status later. Phase C uses REQCHKTXN, a status check packet asking the beneficiary bank, did you process TXN ID with fields like TXN ID or TXN ID and type set to status underscore check. Phase D is RESPCHKTXN. If the bank says success, with a ref ID RRN, the payer PSP updates the app to success. If it's failure or no record found, NPCI triggers a reversal. In phase E, reversal uses REQ pay with TXN type reversal or TXN ID of the failed transaction, AMT matching the original value and ref URL referencing the failed check. Key error codes include 00 for success, 91 and U19 for timeouts leading to pending, U69 for app timeout, and U30 when debit succeeded but credit is stuck, often needing manual UDR or T plus one settlement. If REQCHKTXN does not resolve quickly, the transaction enters UDR. NPCI auto updates by pinging banks from T plus zero to T plus one and on any status change, sends REQTXN confirmation to all parties. If still unresolved and the user raises a dispute, a REQ complaint packet forces a manual trace of the TXN ID across banking logs. To learn more about UPI internals, payments, and packet flows, explore the courses at Renovate Academy. Like, share, and subscribe to keep learning networking, automation, and cloud with Renovate Academy.